Iago talks about the fact that he's fought with Othello at Rhodes, at Cyprus, and on other grounds, Christian and Heathen. So he's fought with Othello at many in different places in the world. And I think Iago feels very strongly that he is the natural right-hand man to Othello. However, when the position becomes free, and we don't know why it becomes free, um, he's overlooked. And Othello gives the position of lieutenant to Cassio, to Michael Cassio, much to the disappointment and fury of Iago. And I think there's a racism in him as well. I mean, it's quite tricky because I really do believe it comes from a place of love, that, that Iago has loved Othello on the battlefield, that, that there's a deep connection with them because they fought together. And I think men in battle have, a, have an emotional connection with each other that I don't think you get anywhere else in the world. And I think the fact, and I think it's like being in love, and the fact that Othello's overlooked him, it's like he smited Iago's love. And, and, and from then, he allows his hate to build. And part of that, I think, is the fact that he's a black man and, 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 and an outsider in this, in this Italian community. Everything he does in the play works till the end. Everything he puts into action comes out to his betterment. Everyone, he manages to make everyone jealous of everyone else very easily. And I think he, he gets carried away with the power because he feels that he should be higher up in society and he should have a better position than he does. The fact that he's able to destroy Othello and his relationship with Desdemona and, and kill Rodrigo, it's just like he's on a mad power surge. He gets carried away with it all, I think. I feel very much that Shakespeare wrote an ending for Iago's story, that there's, the audience are left in no doubt that he's going to be taken away and tortured horribly and killed eventually. Uh, but whereas everyone on stage and everyone in the auditorium want an explanation, they want him to tell us why did you do these terrible things. And Shakespeare's uh, not allowed that. He's, he's denied the audience and the characters an explanation from Iago, who simply says, from this moment forth, I never will speak words. He says, I'm not going to say anything else ever. And um, I think it's brilliant, because there is no, there can be no rational explanation as to why somebody would do these things. And, and certainly, if they're motivated by love, which I think they probably are, and a kind of smiting of his love that he feels for Othello, it's not something that Iago would like to share with a group. <laughs>